In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware of a 2006 Mac Mini 1,1 computer to 2,1 firmware. Now, this doesn't this firmware upgrade doesn't have that many benefits to it. However, one of the main benefits is allowing the system to utilize more than two gigabytes of RAM. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, with stock firmware, uh, these machines will not boot if you install more than two gigabytes of RAM. Now, before you get started you must have upgraded your Mac Mini to a Core 2 Duo CPU. You cannot install this firmware update if you still have a Core Duo or Core Solo CPU installed. So in this Mac Mini, as you can see, is running Lion. Uh, so that means I do have um, that, um, a Core 2 Duo CPU installed. But if I head up here to about this Mac, uh, you can see that uh, this is still running. Uh, Mac Mini 1,1 firmware. So you can see right there that it is indeed a Mac Mini 1,1. So um, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to upgrade it to 2,1 firmware. So the first thing you're going to need is a program that I've actually written called the 2006-2007 Mac Mini firmware tool. Now this program is based on some files that I found uh, on a netcast.org forum users post. Um, so all credit for the patches and whatnot goes to those users. So um, if we go ahead and open the tool here, you can see that it will uh, give you an option to upgrade your current Mac Mini to 2007 firmware if it is currently running Mac Mini 1.1 firmware as mine is. Now if your machine is running 2007 firmware, 2.1 firmware, you can use this tool to downgrade it back to 1,1 firmware if you so desire. But keep in mind when doing the downgrading process, you must have less than two gig or two gigs or less of RAM installed, and you cannot do the downgrade on a real 2007 Mac Mini. So um, with that, let's go ahead and get started with the process. So all you have to do, it's a very simple process. So all you have to do is just select the uh, upgrade to 2007 2,1 firmware here. Um, go ahead and enter your password, so I'll go ahead and do that. And it'll take a second to copy over the necessary files. And once it's done, you'll get this message right here. And it will basically instruct you on how to finish the firmware update. So essentially what you have to do is just shut down the machine and uh, wait 15 seconds, and then hold down the power button on the back until the white LED on the front begins to flash rapidly. So I'll go ahead and select OK on that, close the tool, and shut down the machine. All right, so as you can see, the machine is shutting down now. So here it is right here. So now we'll just give it about 15 seconds or so. And you don't have to really wait 15 seconds. I just, that's just what was recommended and that's what I'd recommend just to make sure the system is fully shut down. But once the system is off, you can go ahead and hold down the power button on the back until the white LED on the front starts flashing. So just press it, keep holding it. All right, so you can see the LED is beginning to flash now. And you should get a beep like that. And then once it turns on, you should see an Apple logo with a progress bar under it. So you can see that it is right there. So at this point, make sure you do not unplug your Mac Mini from power or it will probably be bricked. Um, but uh, yeah, so just wait. This takes about five or six minutes to complete. And once it's done, your firmware should be updated to Mac Mini 2.1 firmware. So once this completes, I will go ahead and resume the video. All right, so the firmware has just finished installing. Now, when the system reboots, you notice there's a strange line on the screen. This is actually normal. Um, this happens when you update the firmware for the first time. And uh, when the Apple logo comes up here, you'll kind of see what's wrong. Uh, so yeah, so as you can see, there's some weird graphics going on here. Here's that line turned into like a rainbow line. So uh, all you've got to do at this point is just turn off the system. So let's go ahead and unplug it here. Just plug the system back in and turn it on. 
And uh, as you can see now, the video is perfectly normal. So uh, we'll go ahead and wait here until it starts booting. So yeah, as you can see now, the video is perfectly normal. Now, if your video persists to be all screwed up like it was before, all you gotta do is just reset your PRAM by holding uh, Command Option P and R at startup and wait till it chimes a second time and then your video should be back to normal. So, um, let's just go ahead and wait for it to boot up here and I'll show you that the firmware upgrade was successful. Alright, so you can see we're back in the system. So let's go ahead and do about this Mac. And as you can see here, the model identifier is now changed to Mac Mini 2,1. So the firmware update was indeed successful. Now, despite the machine actually being a Mac Mini 2,1, you still get uh, the late 2006 uh, description right there. And that's just because that's taken from the serial number. But um, the other thing that this firmware update does not change is the ability to install Lion without making modifications to the installer. Now the reason that is is because the Lion installer looks for the board ID and doesn't really take into account the model identifier. But um, even though this is a Mac Mini 2,1, it's still of course a 1,1 board, so Lion uh, still won't install to it. But modifying the Lion installer really isn't that difficult and there are pl plenty of guides uh, online about it. So um, that is how to down or upgrade the Mac Mini 1,1 to 2,1 firmware and uh, allow it to use more than 2 gigabytes of memory. So um, that is how to upgrade the firmware and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.